Welcome to another Let's Talk IT Pro. I'm your host for today, Rafael Perez. So today I want to talk to you how to make IT profitable. Not actually profitable, but IT as today looks at money laundry. So just get money and use, 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 and the return, well, is zero. So how we can actually make the IT to pay for itself and, and why not make uh, some revenue for, for the company. So every year the company grows, IT budget needs to grow. If you expand on one side, expanding on the other side. So for many companies that are not at that level that I'm going to talk, IT is just seen as uh, expenses so there is no return of the investment so how to make actually IT look like more a return of investment and actually do what they supposed to do not just actually can I have more money for a new server or whatever it may be so I normally say two things one service provider second is cloud so let's ex expand on this service provider so if you go to a service provider, then you charge you for everything. So let's get um, normal uh, uh, IT. So we have, let's say, 10 people and the company, non-IT people, you're going to be about 100 people. So we roughly, uh, by IT, I mean IT support or internal projects. So it's the people that support in the company uh, uh, on the IT. So what happened is, the the grow once so you have one IT person IT support person for roughly about 10 people on, on in this example so what happened is if the company grows from 100 to 110 you need to hire another person for the IT so what happened if this person costs for the company 20,000 for this year uh, the IT budget needs to increase 20,000 plus one laptop for that per that, that oh, uh, for each one of the persons that actually started uh, maybe a laptop maybe a desktop a phone so you're increased so those 20,000 maybe 25,000 so 5,000 for the for the equipment one off for three years plus uh, 20 grand uh, for for every year so if tomorrow the company grows a bit more, so you need to increase IT budget to, to accomplish the tasks, to hire more people, to be able to support uh, those, you know, hire those new people. So the IT budget always growing. And we are only talking about people here. We're not talking about servers and so on. So now let's think about, like I said, service provider. So service provider will charge you for, for for the support provided for the laptop. So the budget for new hire cannot come from just the IT. Because every time someone hires someone, IT needs to grow as well. So why not the business pay? So one unit pay for the IT to have the equipment and not just the equipment, to have a support for the equipment. So what happened is, so those 20,000 that's going to be that uh, for the person that support 10 users. So if we split this, it's going to be 2,000 per user per year. If you think about 10 months a year, so to, to, to be an easy calculation. So we are talking about 200 per new employee to pay for the, the IT. For the IT support per year and then laptop you buy a laptop for for example for 300 400 maybe so if you think about three to four years let's say uh, 300 uh, the equipment in a three years leasing so we get probably about well again a 10 months um, you're you're going to get about 10, 10 money so per month for that device or those devices so you can pay, for example, 250 per month. So one unit pay 
I T 250 per month to actually support the business. So my view is IT is a separate organization that's going to receive the money to provide the support. So and this is also not just for the person, but also for everything else that's not IT related or anything that's not just IT. So if the accountant needs a new server for their software, cannot come from the IT, has to come from their budget. So IT will support the software, they will pay for it. So for example, um, Active Directory. Active Directory is for everyone, so you don't need to charge the company. But a specific software for the accountant department, it cannot come from other departments paying for that, because it's only specific. So this is my view, a, a really simplified view of how IT can make a bit of money. So IT hire people just because the business is growing, not because they want to hire people. So we will never actually, I want to hire more people. No, the business is growing. So the business pay to IT to actually provide the support. So and the other one that I'm going to talk is cloud. So by cloud, you probably already got in your mind. Amazon, I, um, Azure or Microsoft and Google. I'm not talking about this. Those are cloud providers. They are the data center. So what I talk about cloud is more a concept of cloud. So what is the concept? You pay for a use and has to be scalable. So it has to be scalable up if you need more processor as well as scale down if you don't need that uh, power anymore. But to use this concept, you need to have a couple of things. First, technology. So the technology needs to help you with this. So let's say, uh, I, if you think about Azure, they have a software there that actually looks every hour, every day, every minute or whatever, how much utilization you are having on the hardware, on the software, at run level, storage level, CPU level, so they can actually bill you at the end of the month. So it's exactly the same as you need to put down. So the technology needs to allow you to charge back for the utilization based on some numbers. So the numbers will be gigabytes. So you don't actually care about how many megabytes you use. It's going to be one gig. If you use one gig point one, it's going to be charged two gig. Processor, exactly the same. You are using one processor, two processors. And the time, hour, minutes, Base, it depends on how you want to calculate those. So the way, um, and so you have the technology. Second is the application. Is the application capable to actually have this scale up, scale down? If not, you need to, to charge a fixed price. And the third one for me is one, the most principal is all your infrastructure. So if you think about a few years back, maybe many years back, you would looking at physical hardware. No, those do not exist anymore. So we are going to, everything is going to be virtualized. So that's going to be easy to scale up, scale down. Um, so let's think about a accountant software. So this account software I'm talking, this example, needs 250 gig of disk space, 16 gig of RAM, and uh, four processors. So IT needs to buy a hardware that support that. So if you're going to buy physical hardware, you get the, you may get more disk space. So you're actually just throwing money away because you, you only need 250, but you buy, let's say one terabyte. So you're actually throwing away 750 gig. You may need four uh, processor, but you can only uh, four uh, cores but you can only buy with eight cores, for example, or six with that spec. So you are throwing away two cores. And uh, CPU uh, memory, if you need 16, but maybe you can only buy with 32. So if you are good enough, uh, 
lucky enough to buy with uh, 16 that's uh, good enough but this is a hard so if you convert this to a virtualization level so that you can actually use a more powerful hardware that the IT is actually buying so the IT is buying one hardware with 32 processors uh, one terabyte of RAM and then gives a junk of those things to to that specific VM so the the, the accountant will pay for 250 gig 16 gig of RAM and four CPUs for virtual CPUs if the software can scale up and down what then you can do so imagine that this software is only used once a month to pay the salary for the employees and when it actually does goes 100% CPU 100% uh, uh, memory RAM and the disk lots of utilization but it doesn't grow a lot so what you can charge for your internal customer for the department actually you don't need 250 you are expecting to grow for to 250 gig in a few years but now you just need 30 so let me charge you 40 so i give you a margin for you to grow so i charge you 40 gig <laughs> for the whole month uh, for memory you normally use 4 gig but one day a year uh, one day a month use 16 so i'm going to charge you 4 gig for 29 days and one day for eight hours only i will charge 16. and for the last one that cpu you normally use one percent of C of four cpu so let me charge you decrease the number of cpus dynamically as soon as you start using more i increase more so for 29 days i will charge you for four gig for four sorry for one processor and for eight hours in a day on the last day of the month for example when you start using i will charge you for uh for cpu so you can have automatically scale up and scale down as required so you can put in the minimum would be for example one or two cpus and the maximum will be four so you could have this so the technology has to help you so if you think about microsoft word microsoft came with this azure and then there is the azure stack so the, the microsoft cloud inside your data center you buy the hardware so but let's think about not actually the cloud providers but how we put this down to utilization so we first charge per user so new user in the department they will pay they are using the company they will pay for the it amount of money and then every single server needs to be paid to the IT. Maybe have a f a f you cannot scale up, scale down because you don't have technology. And then you charge a fixed amount of price. So maybe you need to bring some people actually to support that solution. That's not solution that you are aware of. So you need to hire people to support. They need to pay pay you. So this is a well a lot simplified view of how the IT can make money or IT can support itself going forward without actually being looked at the, the, the department that's spending money and actually don't bring any revenue to the company. Hope to see you in the next one. Take care.